Hello and welcome to another dose of Dr. Owen's Muscle Medicine. This video is all about the popular weight loss or fat burner supplement CLA and whether or not the claims behind it are supported by scientific evidence. Expect to learn what is CLA, how is it supposed to work and what do the human studies say about whether or not it actually works. First, what is CLA? CLA, or conjugated linoleic acid, is a fatty acid of the omega-6 family that can exist in several different orientations and also happens to be something of a tongue twister. Now, if a product could effectively aid weight loss simply by tying your tongue into knots, then somebody as wooden as me in front of the camera and as prone to tongue tying would buy it by the bucket load. Case closed, let's all move on and watch one of my other videos instead. But since that's obviously not the case, let's get back to what CLA is and what it's supposed to do. CLA is a naturally occurring foodstuff found in meat, fish and dairy. It's also taken as a weight management supplement. Now, onto its use as a weight management supplement. How is it claimed to work? The proposed mechanism of action of CLA marketed is that it's a thermogenic substance, which literally means heat producing, but more specifically in this context means something that promotes an increase in metabolic activity, thereby increasing our calorie burn rate. So, whilst consuming fatty acids to lose fat is at first glance counterintuitive, the thesis behind CLA is that these fatty acids can increase rates of glucose and lipid metabolism, and this has been proven to be the case in diabetic mice in a lab. Link down below to the science. Then, in 1997, another mouse study found that mice fed a diet containing corn oil and CLA ended up having 60% less body fat than genetically identical mice fed corn oil but no CLA. This is what caused the big spike in interest in CLA as a weight management supplement. But we aren't mice and the data on humans is limited, contradictory and not all that positive. Let's get into it. A 2011 meta-analysis of the available good quality studies on CLA as a weight loss supplement in overweight and obese individuals when used for at least six months reported a statistically significant decrease in weight, meaning that the difference between the participants taking CLA and those taking a placebo tablet cannot be explained by chance. However, the difference wasn't that large and the average weight loss difference between the groups over six months was 1.33 kilos. This isn't nothing, but the study participants all came from a start point of being overweight or obese, and likely all remained members of those two camps at the end of the six months, raising the question of even if there's a statistical benefit, is it actually worth it when it comes to your life? Then along came a larger meta-analysis also including studies performed on adults deemed to have a normal body weight. This included 18 studies and concluded that a dose of 3.2 grams of CLA per day was effective only in driving weight loss of 50 grams per week when compared with the placebo group. What's clear here is the order of magnitude of the effect is so small that it could be easily completely offset by a single dietary slip up or overindulgence, which raises the big question as to whether or not CLA is worth the money. They also found by including longer studies that ran for two years that the rate of weight loss of approximately 50 grams per week is not sustained indefinitely, with longer studies showing that weight loss appeared to flatline approaching two years of taking the supplement. Another important consideration is that again, almost all the studies in this meta-analysis were performed on overweight or obese individuals. If instead you're already at a reasonably low or even distinctly bang average body fat, the effect of CLA may be even smaller because our bodies don't tend to give up the last bits of our body fat stores easily. Now let's talk about CLA safety. First up, according to the US FDA, CLA is a grass or generally regarded as safe product. Nonetheless, some people worry about the effect that CLA will have on blood levels of cholesterol and low density lipoproteins or LDLs. To this end, a 2022 meta-analysis of 56 randomized controlled trials found that CLA supplements increase levels of pretty much all the fats we monitor in the bloodstream, including total cholesterol, total triglycerides, the good HDLs and the bad LDLs. Importantly, the jury is very much still out as to whether or not CLA raises these by amounts significant enough to affect your risk of heart and vascular diseases. More data is needed on this. 
and whether or not it does so for you will likely be influenced by the dose of CLA you take and for how long, and also what your lipid levels are when you start taking it. So, the verdict, should you buy CLA? There is at present no robust evidence to suggest genuinely meaningful amounts of fat loss and improved body composition in humans, particularly those that are not overweight or obese when they start taking CLA. So, despite some lean mice, CLA is probably not worth your money unless you're already nailing your training and nutrition from all other angles and have ample money to spare to throw at things with a very limited amount of evidence suggesting only a small degree of weight loss benefit. That's all for today. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel.